Good morning, Mustangs. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Diaz. And I'm Mrs. Lau. And today we are going to make some fluffy slime. Yes. So first we're going to go over some of our ingredients that we're going to need. Um, you are going to need just a bowl, some Elmer's glue, baking soda, shaving cream, and some saline solution. You also need some food coloring, depending on the color that you want your slime to be, and water. Um, and then anything else you want to add to your slime, like glitter or things like that. All right, <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put two thirds cup of white Elmer's glue into our measuring cup and then put it in our bowl. Okay, so we're pouring the glue here. And we've got two thirds cup of glue. So we'll put that in your mixing bowl. The second thing you need is going to be baking soda. And the recipe calls for half a teaspoon. So let's see, half a teaspoon is this really it's tiny really spoon here. And I've measured half a teaspoon. That goes in the bowl as well. So as Ms. Louth is stirring that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the one quarter cup of water. So there it is, one quarter cups of water. So we've added that to the bowl. Also, we are going to start adding the um, shaving cream. So the recipe calls for two to three cups of shaving cream. So what we've done is we decided to use three cups. And I take this little spatula here and I just kind of, you know, make sure that it does fill up the cup, which in this case it did. So I'm putting in the one here. <clears throat> now, if you do more shading cream, it just makes your slime fluffier. Yep. So the fluffier you want it, the more shaving cream you add. Okay, this will be number two. So I'll put this in. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Okay, so two in there. And then I'm going to measure out our last cup, which will be the number three here. All right. There you go. And at first, when you're stirring in the um, shaving cream with what we already had in the bowl, the water and the baking soda, it's much easier to stir at this point. When does it start getting a little bit tougher to stir in? It starts getting a little harder to stir when you add in um, your saline solution. All right, so what we're gonna do now is it's asking us to add the food coloring. So Miss Lau, what food coloring, what color would you like to use? Um, why don't we do a mix of a couple different colors? Why don't we do blue and yellow? All right, let's do blue and yellow. All right, so we know because this is a bigger bowl, we're gonna need to at least drop in about maybe five to six drops of food coloring. That was my blue. Here is the yellow. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. What do you think? I Are you think fine with it? That would be a good idea. All right, so here's some more blue. Stir that in. Right. <clears throat> now the food color, it does uh, mention that you can add as much food color as you want um, until you get your desired color. So for this time, um, like Miss Lau asked us to do, we did green. We did yellow, I'm sorry, blue and yellow, and it really turned it into a beautiful, like an aqua color or like a teal. Yeah, kinda. Very, very nice. Do we wanna add some more or we go with that color? I think this color's good. All right, so now that we're, um, we agree on the color, what we're gonna add in is the contact solution. Now this is where it's gonna get hard to stir. It starts getting a little stiffer. All right, do you wanna mention the two ingredients that they need to have when they buy the, Yes, so in our recipe, it says that it is important to make sure that in 
the brand of contact solution that you buy that um, the ingredients list includes boric acid and sodium borate. All right, so here I go, and we are going to measure in uh, one and a half tablespoons of the saline solution, and it's like this stuff, the contact solution. So I've got my measuring spoon here, and I'm filling it all the way to the top. So the first spoon that I filled out was the tablespoon. And then I'm measuring out the half tablespoon. You see, and now it's starting to get a little less slippery and a little more sticky. Yep. So we're going to we're going to add that to our slime. Stir that up. All right. That looks pretty cool. So yep. just as soon, just like Miss Lau said, as soon as you add that um, solution, you can see that your your slime, you're gonna be able to pull it apart, just like she's, just the way that Miss Louth is uh, showing you. Here you go, Mrs. Diaz. Oh my God, how fun. Oh yeah, this is amazing. So we're not done yet, because the instructions do say to, you've gotta, you gotta knead your slime. So if you do this, you'll see that it's kind of sticking to your hands at first, but the, the longer that you knead the slime, it starts coming off. See, my hands are almost free of it. And so we do this for about five minutes. The longer you need it, the less sticky it'll be. So, see, so it just comes right off. So you can do that. Our recipe also says that if it's a little too sticky for your liking, um, just add some like baby oil or lotion to your hands um, before you start playing with your slime. Yep. And there you go. This is our slime. Hope you guys have fun. Have fun, guys. Bye. Bye.